collimating a 10 inch solid tube series telescope today here at Teeter's Telescopes. I'm just going to walk everyone through the three major steps of taking your STS telescope and uh, after you've got it unpacked, now um, getting it into proper collimation because uh, from vibration and shipping and the rough handling it may have had, uh, chances are it will not be in collimation uh, the moment you take it out of the box. So we're going to go through the main steps here to bring it into, like I said, that proper collimation. So first thing we're going to do is take a look through the focuser here, and we're going to see that the collimation is fairly far out. There are some major issues there. Secondary mirror and primary mirror are both out of collimation. So what we're going to do, now that we've seen that, we could look through the focuser and see it's out of collimation. We're going to take this first tool, uh, which is the cat's eye uh, two inch sight tube. All right, so it is a machined sight tube here with a set of crosshairs down on the bottom. We're going to take that and put it here into the focuser. Drop it all the way in and just lock it down here with the thumb screws. And then we're going to take a look through the peephole, and we're going to see again that the uh, collimation is out. Now to enhance the view, we're going to stick a piece of white computer paper into the tube. What that does is it gives us a nice white background behind the secondary mirror so we can better tell uh, how in or out of collimation it is. We're going to zoom in here, take a look right through the peephole, and we're going to see the secondary mirror. And we're going to see the, uh, the white paper behind it. And we're going to be able to tell some things from this view. We can tell that the secondary mirror needs to be rotated because the reflection of the primary mirror is too far toward the top of the secondary mirror, so it needs to be rotated. And also, it just needs general collimation in terms of tip and tilt. All right, so we're going to back out from there. Again, we're going to take a look through the peephole and to rotate the secondary mirror, we're just going to take, you know, just take your hand right in here, grab onto the secondary holder here, the black part, All right, not the hub here from the spider, but a little bit further in is the secondary mirror holder. We're just going to grab that and turn it. It's just going to take a little bit of force. We're going to turn it until we can see the reflection of the primary mirror now centered in the secondary mirror itself. Okay. Now, what we may want to do is just get another quick look through the peephole here just to see the difference in alignment. So rotating the secondary mirror has now brought the primary mirror uh, fairly centered top to bottom now, but it's still off center left to right. So in order to correct that, now, technically in the old days, before there were laser collimators and the next couple tools we're going to talk about, you could have just adjusted this by eye. That's one way to do it. A better way is going to be with a laser. So really, all the sight tube here is, is here to do is just to give you a good concentric view down into the focuser and to see if the secondary mirror is rotated properly and centered this way in all four directions. So now we're done with that tool. We're going to take the piece of paper out of the tube, and we're now going to jump to the second tool here, which is a two-inch laser collimator. Uh, this one happens to be made by Howie Gladder, and we're going to take this, just like the other tool, and we're going to put this into the focuser. We're going to loosen the thumb screws here. We're going to slide it in all the way, tighten up the thumb screws, and we're going to turn it on. Now we're going to take a look down the optical tube. Here, and we're going to look for where the laser falls on the primary mirror. The whole idea here is to get the laser so it falls into the very center of the primary mirror. There's a center spot there, a center little gum ring or a little decal in the center of the mirror. We want to use these three knobs here to adjust the tip and tilt of the secondary mirror. Uh, we don't want to touch the center one. All right, that one adjusts the tension on the secondary mirror, so that one should stay nice and tight. doesn't need to be touched. But these three we're going to use now. And I'm going to stick my head in here. So you can see that the laser is to the top left on the face of the primary. We want to adjust it, you know, turning these three screws such that it gets to the center of the primary mirror. 
So you can see here we're getting very close. Here we go, here we go. It's now on the center spot. We want to get it in the center. There we go. So we just keep adjusting, keep turning them until we get them centered, or the, the laser beam centered. And we're going to be pretty close. All right, I get my head out of the way. I think we're fairly centered there. To me, that would be satisfactory, especially for an F5 focal ratio. The laser beam is now centered. Technically, now your secondary mirror is in alignment. All right, so we're going to shut the laser off, pull the laser out. If you're using the, the Gladder laser tool, uh, it has a uh, aperture stop on the base here, this white ring here. This actually unscrews. So we want to take this off. And unscrew it, set that off to the side, and the Gladder laser now combines with this other tool. This is also from Gladder. This is called the 2-inch tube lug, T-U-B-L-U-G, tube lug. All right, so what happens here is we have two thumb screws here. We're going to loosen these a little bit so that we can now slide the laser into the tube lug. So we want to put them in there. The tight, the fit is very tight, which is good. All right, so we can tighten that up once that goes in all the way. There we go. So we want to get the laser fully seated in there. This now slips into the focuser, and it's got a 45 degree cutout here. What this allows us to do now is to put this into the focuser with the 45 degree cutout facing you. We tighten this up, turn it on. And now if we swing around this way, and we're going to stand at the rear of the telescope, and we're going to now start working with the primary mirror collimation. All right, so we can look up at the tube lug, and we see a little red uh, holographic you know, laser up there. So what we want to do, the name of the game here, is to take the three collimation bolts on your primary mirror and turn them right, to such a degree that what you begin to see on the face of the tube lug up there is the shadow of your center spot on the primary mirror. In this case, we're using the cat's eye hot spot, so it looks like a little radioactive symbol. Sometimes uh, on other telescopes, you may have just a gum ring on there, uh, but this is a specific shape. So we see the shadow of it. So we want to keep turning these bolts back here on the back of the primary mirror until that shadow is centered on that black hole in the center. So that's essentially the origin of the laser. So as soon as we get them all lined up here, right like that, and the hole, let me just decollimate it, the hole in the shadow of the center spot is the same size as the origin hole here for the laser. So the two overlap perfectly. So something like that. So I'll come up here. So we can see the shadow is now fully centered on this hole right here. So we can see we have that. So that essentially now, I'll turn this off, pull this out, double check by looking in here, telescope's collimated. So we can now point the camera back into the tube here. So what we're seeing is a view down the draw tube and we're seeing the secondary mirror properly rotated because it's now showing the full primary mirror reflection. And centered in the primary mirror reflection is a reflection of the secondary mirror. So what we're going for here is all concentric rings. So everything is totally concentric. We could even then go back to this tool at the very beginning, which was the two inch sight tube, put that back in and see that everything is concentric. That concentric to this ring is your secondary mirror and then concentric to your secondary mirror is your primary. And then again, finally, concentric is the reflection of the secondary and the primary. So basically, we're going through a stacked uh, set of images in there, meaning that you're now in collimation. But really, the simpler way to do it is to use your laser tools. Two-inch gladder laser, two-inch gladder tube lug. And that brings your telescope into full collimation. And that's really it. And we did that in a matter of a few minutes. Your telescope is now fully collimated. Please enjoy. Thank you.